Mr. President, I've been told that you're a very prayerful man. This is the word of the Lord for you. Please fire all cabinet secretaries before Thursday. Please fire all permanent secretaries before Thursday. Please fire all heads of parastatals and other government officials. Mr. President, we are coming to State House on Thursday at 11 a.m. I will be accompanied by a hundred women dressed in white, just mama mogas. I'll be accompanied by a hundred men dressed in white, just border borders. I'll be accompanied by a hundred young people dressed in white, just youths. Mr. President, please request and ask the police to put down their guns. Mr. President, we need to talk, not on Twitter, not on TV. Mr. President, see you on Thursday at 11 a.m. at State House. God bless you. Um, uh, introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Shakira Ofida, mm -hmm. a concerned citizen of this country. <laughs> so during the, the, the recent weeks, the two mm. weeks, you've blown up yes. you, because of your courage and your uh, uh, morale to gear up uh, 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 the protest. What, what do you have to say about it? Uh, for me, I went, I went out to the road for the protest because I was concerned specifically for what Kenya holds for my future and the future of my son. I have a five-year-old son. And seeing the trend that politicians have taken with our economy and their leadership, I thought it was important for me to voice my opinion and discontent to how they are serving. They, they are not serving the country. Yeah. So what is your main concern? Uh, corruption. They, they have uh, put their pockets and greed in front of the needs of all the Kenyans who put them into their leadership roles. And even after voicing our opinions, they are still not willing to concede and take up the responsibilities that were given to them. So um, my biggest concern is that since they have proved that they are not willing to serve the people, they should step aside and give space to people who are willing to serve. So as a young person, what is that, one, what is that encouragement that you can give to the youth so that they can emanate from you? Uh, first, I really didn't step out to be anyone's role model, okay. but I think it's important for all of us to have courage. Uh, Maya, Maya Angelou, she's a very prominent figure and she says of all the virtues, the most important virtue is courage because with courage you're able to uh, go on with all other virtues consistently. So it's important for us to have courage and continue fighting for what we feel we deserve and we should not rest until we get to where we need. then was fearless. Yes. What made you fearless in that moment? Um, I think
think it's it's just like my my I, I wasn't fearless to be honest. I was very scared at that specific point in time. But the anger and the frustration I had superseded the fear that I had, and it was like there is no way you can uh, harass me, and I'm here fighting for what I includes your your own rights. So I think it's important for people to put courage above everything else. Yeah. From the original protest in 1990, original yeah. Saba Saba protest, yeah. all the way till last week. The, the police crackdown has always been heavy-handed, yeah. even across Africa. Yeah. Nigerians have been saying they're not protesting mm. because they are fearing they are for, the, for the police brutality. Yeah. However, because of these Kenyan protests, they have theirs organized from mm. 1st of August to yeah. 10th of August. Yeah, other countries, in, to see. Yes, other countries in Uganda are doing the same. Yeah. What, what is your message for African youth from other countries who are looking to emulate your courage? Our time is now. We have to stand up and keep moving forward. Yeah. So uh, let's bounce back to the elephant in the room. So we are here for the commemoration of the lost uh, fallen soldiers. Mm. So uh, what is that one message that you have to the friends and family of these loved ones that we lost? Uh, personally, I feel sad. It's unfortunate that uh, the young people especially to lose their lives, had to get injured, had to experience all this brutality while they are fighting for, for their rights and what we deserve as young people of this country. So I pass my sincere condolences to all the people who have been affected, the parents, the friends and families of these young people. And we are here to comm commemorate them and say that their blood was not shed in vain. We're going to continue on with the struggle until we're able to free our country. We're able to grow as a country to the uh, point that we feel we should. And they'll always be our heroes at okay. heart. We saw the president taking a U-turn and withdrawing the, uh, the finance bill, which triggered all this protest. Mm. So, uh, and on Thursday you were at the, on the streets, right? Yes. So why were you on the streets on Thursday, despite the president uh, withdrawing the bill? Uh, f first of all, the members of parliament right now are in recess and the withdrawal of the bill, it's, it's not 100% certain as of now. And what was put in place of that bill was the appropriations bill, which does not serve the economy any better than the finance bill 2024. And also, like I mentioned, it's, we are tired. We are tired of how these leaders continue to fail us time and time again. And we are saying it's time for them to step aside and let us, the youth, move the country where we feel the country should be, should be going to. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you Thank so you. much. I'd like to have a longer conversation. I'm from African Stream. Oh, okay. I could take your number. <laughs> Thank you.